Okay, you wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come, um, okay, Inshira is in. Come, Shafi'i and um, Akila, turn on your video. Otherwise, we can't start. Okay, so Akila, uh, Akila is new here. You have Ryan there, Ryan and Shafi, and the one in the dark is Inshira. Okay, we're going to do a chapter called Pythagoras Theorem. Pythagoras is actually a 2000 year old. Yeah. Okay, Pythagoras is a Greek philosopher, I believe about 2000 years ago. And he dis he made a very simple uh, discovery. Lah. Okay, this is in relation to right angle triangle. Okay, so this in a right angle triangle, you know, this is 90 degrees, right? So there is a long part. This is called hypotenuse. Your hypotenuse is the longest part of the right angle triangle. Now, if okay, if let's say now, for example, I just give an example. Eh? If this is two cm, this is three cm. According to um, uh, Pythagoras, you can find what is hypotenuse. So this now we call it C, yeah, is equal to C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared. So what is it? A is uh, B is two squared, right? So two squared. Sorry, B is two, so it's two squared here. C uh, A is three, so it's three squared here. So you will get two times two four plus 9 equals to 13. So C squared is equals to 13. If you want to find what C is, you square root, square root, you got to square root this. Once you square root this, become a C. And then you get square root 13. Now square root 13 is the answer. Lah. Okay. Sometimes you get whole numbers, sometimes you don't. So I repeat, eh? this longest part, when you square it, is equal to the sum of the other two sides squared. This squared plus this squared. That's all you need to know, okay, for Pythagoras theorem. And you will have exercises now to, to make sure you understand. Okay, um, Inchi, Inchi, where are you, Inchi? Inchi is entering again, okay. Okay, so this is called Pythagoras theorem, okay? You must make sure the angle is uh, 90 degrees. No, no. So now, okay, I'll give you an example here, right? So now down here, 10 squared is 100. Lah. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. You add together, you get 100. So that is true. Eh? So let's see. Now. We are going to try. Can you find this first one now? What is the value of x? What is the value of x? Okay, so if you're not sure, I'm just going to write down for you. Remember, this high is hypotenuse, is 39. So you write 39 squared is equals to this squared plus this squared, 36 squared plus x squared. So now you find what is x. Lah. Okay, you all try, find what is x. Lah. Okay, anyone got answer? You just send to the message. Eh? Shafi, can you Shafi? Send. Uh, we want you to find what is this side of here. So let us see. Eh? What happened? Internet connection is quite bad. Is gone. Okay, so Shafi, you got a part of it, but that's not the full story now. 
so okay in case if you are not sure so we will i will reduce and then we go through step by step insurer can do that insurer can you find x now? cannot okay so you you're just getting used to it once you get used to it uh, you'll find it so easy you know this is like easier than okay so now let's see now so hypotenuse is ab right so ab square is equals to x squared plus 36 squared so you just fill this up lah. okay in fact i've already done for you down here so it's equals to 39 squared plus x squared plus 36 squared so what is x squared you bring the 36 over lah you get 39 squared minus 36 squared okay if you bring 36 squared over you get 39 squared minus 36 squared equals to x squared what is this equals to well you get 1521 minus i forgot what minus something hold on 36 squared 1296 and then you don't get a negative number Shafi. you get 225 correct so now x squared is equals to 225 what is x you got the square root this square root of 225 is uh, square root of 225 is 15. so this is 15. we can test it if you want to 15 squared plus this squared you will get this square Okay, confirm lah, confirm. In fact, it's a it's a good uh good for you to on your own lah when you're free. You get a ruler, make sure it's uh right angle lah. So then you draw a triangle any size. Maybe you want to draw three cm by four cm, and then after that you do a calculation lah, and then you find find out what is this value. Square this, square this, square this. See whether this square is equal to this two, if you want to. Okay, but most students don't do that. I did it because I had no teacher. I had to prove it to myself. So that was a long time ago. As I told you, I failed my sec two. And at sec three and sec four, I started doing it. I started to experiment. So let us try now with 1A and 1B. Lah. Okay. You can do this. Huh? It's not so difficult. Okay. You can do this. Okay. Those of you who have forgotten, the formula is very simple. Lah. I just write the formula for you down. A squared equals to B squared plus c square and a is hypotenuse eh? w triangle All right. First answer. Well done, Shafi. E. Shafi got the first answer. Eh? Easy, right, Shafi? E? Once you know the formula, it's easy. Yeah. Akila can do Akila. Do you understand Akila? Confused or not? No. Huh? In she. Ryan, okay, yeah, Ryan. A bit, uh. Okay, no problem, no problem. No problem. So down here, Ryan, this is hypotenuse, right? This is longest, right? So, okay, Ryan. So down here, the formula says, when you square this thing, so x square, this will be equal to this two sides square. 12 square plus 5 square. Okay. That's the rule again, huh? So this is x square is equals to 12 square plus 5 square. So you find out now what is 12 square. 12 times 12, huh? not 12 times 2. Huh? 12 times 12, 144. You can use the calculator, please. 5 times 5, 25. I think you will get 169. But 169 is not x, you know. 169 is x square. How to find x? Square root 169 like this. You put 1, sorry. You put 169 into that square root. Like sign up, use your calculator, and you get the answer, which is 13. How, Ryan? Okay, Ryan. Okay, yeah. 
Akira, could you get 13? Inshira, can you get 13? Okay, never mind. We try the next one. Don't worry. There will be so many practice on this. I, I did this with another student. The person got bored. Okay, and, and then we were wondering why is this part of, like, you know, maybe they could have taught this in primary school. Maybe, maybe. Okay, you try the next one. So you, you write it. Which one is the longest? Like, Ryan, you write the longest one. 10 square uh, is equals to 6 square plus x square. Uh, then you move the numbers about lah, until you get x square. Then you square root. Well done, Shafi'i. Akila can do, can send it through the message, Akila. Okay, well done, Akila. Inshi, can Inshi, and Ryan? Okay, Inshi, there's no minus. No minus, minus, huh? Ryan, how, huh, Ryan? Okay, so we'll, we'll run through, okay? You don't need to expand first if you want to. So what do we do? We we why don't we shift the shift the numbers on this side? You see this number six square. We bring it on over this side. Okay, you bring it over this side, huh? Okay, so let us see now. Well done, Ryan. Well done. But you got the answer eight ready, okay? No, no, cannot do that way. Cannot do that way. Eh? Hold on, huh? okay. So down here now. Okay, yeah. So you bring it, you get 10 square minus 6 square is equals to x square. Hold on, eh? it's equals to x square. Hold on, eh? hold on. So what is 10 square? 10 square is 100. Okay, 10 square is 100. Okay, careful. Eh? Do not take 10 square is 10 times 2, 20. 6 times 2, uh, 12. Then 10, uh, 20 minus 12, you get 8. Not that way. Yeah? Remember, this is 10 square is 10 times 10. There is a function inside your calculator. Put a square there. Okay, if you're not so sure where the function is, it's here. Uh, down here. Can you see this one? Right? This function. You put, you press this button and you put, oh, there's square root. Square, sorry. Square is uh, beside it. Uh. Square is beside it. You all can see, right? Down here, square beside. So you get 10 times 10. You get 100 down here. Not 10 times 2. Huh? Careful. Huh? So this is 100. 100 minus 6 times 6, 36. So you get 64. 100 minus 36 is 64. Now x square is equal to 64. Okay. And you want to find what is x. Square root it. There's a square root button there. This button down here. Okay, if you're not sure, I'll show you the moment. Eh? Okay, so you get it. So in case if you're not so sure how to get the square root button. Okay. For my calculator down here, you press the square root. Oh, oh. You press the square root button. Ah. Okay, what's ah? Oh, double. Ah. Uh, then you put 64. Key in 64 inside. And then just press equal. Ah. This one like that. Just press equal. You can never get a negative number. You get a negative number, something's wrong. So the answer is 8. Okay? You do the same thing, okay? So you get 8. Eh? we we'll try now the next few. You try this one. We are doing only C, but if you... Those who finish 5, you do C and D. But we are only doing C. Okay? We'll practice until you are super at this. Identify the hypotenuse. Eh? Which is the hypotenuse, the longest one? Let that be equal to the sum of the other two sides. Square.
Okay, we got one person signing. Wow, three persons there. Huh? Okay, hold on. Huh? Well done, those of you who got 17. Can you move on to question D? Let me check the rest. Huh? You try the next one. Those who have finished C, move to D. Your answers are correct. Anika, Anika, what are you doing, Anika? Mau belajar juga, Anika. I got a feeling Anika is going to be a ballerina. Think so? Does she want to be a ballerina? <laughs> possible. Where's the one? Aduh, Anika jadi ballerina, Anika. Let's see now. Okay, so um, those, okay, I'm going through question three very quickly. Now, which one is the longest? It's y. y squared equals to 15 squared plus 8 squared, right? Just double check. Lah. So you want to find what is y, right? So you get answer. This is uh, y squared. Don't remember, don't, don't take 15 times 2, no. Don't take 15 times 2. This is square. This is 15 times 15. This is 8 times 8. So you get 2, 2, 5 plus, hey, sorry, 15 times 15, how much? Yeah? 1, hold on, two, what, 15 times 15 is 2 to 5, correct? Plus 64. You get 289 on here. Y square is 289. Okay, so what is Y? Square root 289. Square root 289. You get 17. Okay, remember, uh, this one is not 15 times 2, it's 15 squared. Okay, let's see now. Uh, Inshira has sent the answer D. Okay, we are moving, no need to do D. Um, uh, I mean, if you are doing D, you send me your answer. If not, Anyone else got answer? Okay, the answer is two. Huh? Okay, you take two point nine square minus two point one square, you get four. Square root of four is two. So in she, you got it. What about uh, Akila? Can do? Oh, Akila got it. So Shafi, Shafi. Okay, but never mind. Okay, we are moving on. That's not compulsory. Yeah? I just need you to, if you are faster. Okay, this will be good for you to practice on your own. Lah. You draw a right angle triangle. You try to see whether they add up to one another. Now, down here, we do not know whether it's a right angle triangle. If it is a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse squared is equal to these two sums. Can you check for A? Is this a right angle triangle or not? How to check? Take square of this. Is it equal to square of 28 plus 21? Can you just check? Is it? What do you think? It is or not? Okay. I tell you what, you all do as many as you can. We give we give you uh, three minutes only, okay? You send me your answer. You tell me whether it's yes or no. Okay, the yes, that means it's a right angle triangle. How do we know it's right angle triangle? When the hypotenuse squared is equal to these two. 
If it's not equal, that means it's not a right angle triangle. You, you understand? I repeat. Right angle triangle, this square is equal to this square plus this square. So we do the first one only. Lah, the first one, okay? 35 squared, if you square it, you get 1, 2, 2, 5. Now, when you add this square and this square, do you get 1, 2, 2, 5? Yes, you do. So this is a right angle triangle. Yes. Can you try for B, C, D? Is it a right angle triangle or not? You got to check. B, is it a right angle triangle or not? You must, you must have your calculator. You have your phone. Huh? It's very difficult. You are using phone is difficult huh? because phone doesn't have square root. Unless your phone is special huh? or you have a certain app, then maybe you have. All right. Let's see. Okay, Akila says NO for B. Let's see whether she's correct. The rest, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, Akira, you do C and D, yeah? Inshira says no also. Yeah, I do not know where's the girl thing. Huh? Is it a girl thing? Shafi, you can do Shafi. Okay, we, we do together. We do together. Now, first of all, do you have a calculator? Ryan, you got a calculator with you? Ryan. Ryan is frozen. Uh, Shafi, you got a calculator, right? Okay. All right, let's see. So, Ryan says C and B, no. Okay. So, we do one by one. Shafi, you don't have a. You don't have, okay. If you don't have, that's a problem. You need to have a calculator. So, okay, never mind. If you're using your phone, what you do, you got to do long method. Uh. Take 1.5 times 1.5. Okay, you will get what? 2.25, is it? 1.5 squared. I think you'll get 2.25. Uh. All right. And then down here, 2 times 2, 4. You add together, you get 4.25. You use your calculator, Shafi, to see 2.4 times 2.4, what do you get? Two point four squared. You get five point seven six. Ah, uh, is not the same. Can you see? Ah, uh, boys and girls, you see these two. You add up the square is four point two five. This one is five point seven. So this is not a right angle triangle. If it's a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse, the longest part, the square root, will be equal to the sum of the two. So the same thing for this one also. Sixty six square. That's right. 66 square is 4, 3, 5, 6. Okay, what about 33 square? This is 1089. Actually, yeah, you have a calculator, you don't need to show your breakdown in working, actually. 56 square is 3136. So you add 3136 to 1089. Do you get... Four, three, five, six. If you don't get, that means it's not equal. Where's my hold on? Huh? Three, one, three, six. Okay. So three, one, three, six plus one, zero, oh, eight, nine. What do you get? You get four, two, two, five. This plus this is four, two, two, five. So again, this is not a right angle triangle. What about the last one? What about the last one? Let's see. Anyone can anyone can guess now. Actually, this is uh, it is, the same. It is, huh? Okay, Ryan say it is. A. So now, how, how do you do this one? Where square root of 4 is 2, what? 
square of this, two, two square of two is four. Square root of four is two. Square it, you get four. S square root of uh, eight is whatever. And then when you square it, you get eight. Four plus four is equals to eight. It's true. So now some are confused now. Okay, so I show you. Uh, let's say now, twenty. Oh, sorry, sorry. I give you thirty-six. Uh, thirty-six. Uh. Let's say uh, thirty-six. You square root. After that, you square it. This is what we are doing, right? We are supposed to square. Square of four. Square root. One side square it. Plus another side you square it. Sorry. is equal to 8 you square it now so when you have a square root and a square this just become 4 i give you the shortcut okay i won't show you the sec 3 work lah because this is actually half this is 2 2 times half is 1 actually so maybe i can't remember very sec 2 i don't think it's in sec 2 so same thing you have a square root and a square this one becomes just the number 4 Square root and square is going to become 8. So 4 plus 4 is 8. This is true. This is a right angle triangle. So down here now, to prove it to you that square root square equals 36. Square root of 36 is 6. 6 times 6 after that is 36. Can you see? This is true. You can use it in your calculator. Okay. Um, I know it's starting to get boring, right? At first, it was confusing. After a while, it's getting... Alamak, can we do something else? Okay, never mind. We, we try. Uh, this one is a little bit, a little bit, it's not so tough. Lah. Just be careful. You just need to be careful. Okay, you try. Okay, yeah, you are, you are lagging. Eh? That's why I saw you frozen. I was thinking, how come, right? And I was thinking, how come you are still like that? Okay, it's, not, it's not me. Eh? Ask yourself, is this a right angle? Of course it is, right? It has to be, this is a straight line. They have a common side AD, okay, common side. But now uh, they tell you it's right angle here. So they already told you it's right angle. Therefore, you can mark it as right angle and then you can do your magic. Huh? They want you to show that AD is 15. Can you get 15 or not? Can you try? Do you get 15? If yes, you tell me yes, lah. And the answer cannot be no lah. Eh? If you you get no, okay, yes, okay, good. If she writes yeah. Now, if you all know what your school is going through next, is it statistics? I have one student who's going through statistics, the last chapter in the in the B book, going through now. So if you you, you know what it is, please message me. Lah. Okay, Akira, well done. Okay, for A, you get 15. Chapi, okay. Then move on to find CD.
Well done. Okay, so okay, I think it's quite easy, yeah. So we, I'm just gonna run through, okay, so that everyone, so okay, yeah. So this one now, seventeen square is equal to so eight square plus we do not know ad square lah. Okay, ad square. So you wanna find ad, you bring this over to that side. When you bring that side, it becomes seventeen square minus eight square. Seventeen square is one six one. Right? One. 17 square. Well, 289, sorry. 289. 289 minus 64. Minus 64. And what do we get? We get 225. Okay, we get 225. Huh? 225 and then you square root 225, you get 15. Huh? Okay. So you once you square root 225, you get 15. So this one, 2 to 5 square root, you get 15. So the same thing then. Oh, oops. Take 39 square. I do messy. 39 square minus 15 square. And then you get your answer. You square root it, you get 36. Okay. Okay, we move on. Huh? We move on again. Okay? Okay, you try this one. You'll find it's quite easy as well. If you're getting the hang of it. Force of the fine QX. Here I see because someone says I'm wrong. Okay. Akila Shafi E for the first for QX. Well done. No more in she. Ryan, okay, Ryan. Are you okay, Ryan? Is she okay? So next one is YX. Okay, YX is easy. La. Okay, well done, Akila. Okay. Okay, Akila, well done. Um, Shafi, that one is what? A YX? Uh? 35. 35 is which one? YZ. No. Then you you send me 35. Akila, is it easy? Quite easy, right? Once you get a hang, it's easy, okay? So until you get a hang, you cannot, you, you must not leave this aside now. Okay, because if you don't get a hang, you might get a fear, see? Like for me, I tried to ride a bike, then I masuk longkang, and then I got fear, and then I give up. Okay, let us see now. This one is for this question, is it? Or the earlier one? This one, this one. This one. So let us see one by one. Where is the triangle first? Let us look at the triangle. The triangle is here. This is the triangle, the first one. Okay. So now we fill, we fill up. Now we fill up. Hypotenuse is 
13. So this is 13 square. Okay, I'm going to go through one by one. Huh? The rest uh, do equation 13 square plus 5 square plus dono square. Uh, dono square, you QX. Uh, square. So once you have done like that, QX square, what do we do? We bring the 5, this one, over that side. Uh. So you bring over there, it becomes minus 5 square. So 13 square, oh, sorry minus 5 square is equal to qx square. So what is this equal to? 13 square is 169. 169 minus 25. You get 144. Okay, 144 is, is what it is right down here. So 144 is the qx square, you know. It's 144. So you want to find what is qx. Make sure you square root it. Square root 144. You will get 12. So where is 12? This is 12. Yeah. So you, that is for question number A. You found QX. For question B, I use a green color. You can see here. Yeah? They ask you, you now what is Y is X? Y X this plus this. 12 plus 8. Uh? You see, 12 we found is 12 plus 8, 20. Yeah. This is 20. Okay. And then the last one now, you know this one is 20. You know this one is 15. You can find this. So 20 square plus 15 square is equals to what? YZ square. So you get 400. Uh, 20 times 20, 400, right? 400 plus 2 to 5. You get 6 to 5. Lah. Okay. When you square root the 6 to 5, you will get 30, 25. Eh? You get 25. So the answer is 25. All right. So we move on. Eh? We move on, okay? Shafi, okay, right? Shafi. Oh, Shafi, you got it. Really. Okay. Uh, Ryan, okay, eh? Ryan, I hope. Should be okay. Ryan is now. Come, Akila. Come back, Akila. Don't run away. Just your first lesson. Don't be shy. Sometimes some students do that. They run away. Uh, last time, I used to hide. lah, But now, I don't. In fact, people think I'm tak tahu malu. Also. Because I tried my hand out in acting. So, some of people think I will never be shy. But sometimes, I am very shy. Okay. So, you try this now. Be careful. Just try it, yeah? and then if you are done, I will ask you to do the next one. So we try this one first. Once you are done, you do the next one. You see, Inshira is finding so easy, she's finding so bored. Inshira is so easy, right? So you give me like, something easy, uh, difficult. But what to do? We, all, we have to make sure we master this. Uh. Pythagoras is one of the easiest topics. So be careful, huh? they again they tell you these are both right angle triangle. They tell you. You don't need to show lah. Okay, you, you just need to find the length CD. You don't need to do A. Do straight away CD. They already tell you that AC is 36. AC 36. I like 36. Don't need to find 36 lah. I want you to find CD straight. Please go for CD, please. Actually, they shouldn't give the, uh, let us see. Okay. So this one on here, okay, you do, the rest you do first, you do first. Ryan, you got a calculator now, Ryan? You have, right? Okay. So... It's a formula. It's just a formula. Actually, by right, when I teach you this, I should get you to draw. But we don't have, we don't have the physical the thing. Let me try. Let's see. Anyone got answer? Okay, we got someone got answer. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Okay, you can give to one decimal place. Like, this one is a decimal. Like, okay. 
que aquí la valdan. So you find maths, uh, some topics are easy, some topics are difficult. But what is what you must master right throughout actually is algebra. Lah. Of all the other topics you need to know. But if you don't know algebra, habila mati lah. Okay, let us see now whether the rest can get it. Okay, she okay, so very easy, yeah. So how to do this? I've just run through. Okay, Ryan, which one is hypotenuse? 36 is hypotenuse. Huh? So just very simple. Take 36. The formula is this value you square it is equals to 24 square plus this square plus whatever it is, a CD square. So we are talking about this triangle here. In this triangle, 36 is the hypotenuse. But in this triangle here, 36 is not hypotenuse. 45 is the hypotenuse. But we are referring to this triangle. So 34 over this side. You get 36 square minus 24 square. Okay, then you get your answer. What's your answer? 720. Okay. So you want to find what is uh, what is CD is 720 square root, square root of 720, and you will get the answer to be 26.8. See, huh? Move on, move on. Okay, now we're going to algebra. Same thing, same thing, eh? but it's algebra. I don't. Uh, I just want you to form this one. This is like, you know, as in equation. Eh? Uh, Akila, you know what's equation? What must it have? It must have something. No? The equal sign. Uh, equal sign. Equation must have equal sign. Eh? Then one side must be equal to another side. Like a seesaw. Lah. Like a seesaw. So now... You don't need to do. You don't need to do this one. Just do this. You know, it's a, you know that this is a right angle triangle. Can you form the equation? See what equation? This square plus this square equals this square. Can you form it and then solve what is x? Solve what is x? Okay. This attempt. So Ryan, you take this square plus this square is equals to this square. But this square you can you must multiply it like that. Huh? Some of my friends may make a mistake of x plus four times x four. You must expand out. Okay, remember this one you got to expand out. So this square plus this square equals to this. Let us see who has so far. Sir? Okay, can you solve it? Can you solve it? No problem, no problem. Don't worry, I understand. Uh, you, you solve it. You know what's meaning solve? Solve means they want you to find the value of x. So you have formed the equation and you must solve it. Lah. Cannot be too big, ah. Uh. 
Six is three one six too big lah, Shopee. Maybe you are supposed to square root it, Shopee. Imagine if X longer three one six, this side eighteen and three one six, berapa panjang sih? Tinggi lah. Ada flagpole, even a flagpole. Ada biaya, come on. Come on, do Aljunit proud, come on. All the rest on national schools. Aljunit is better than the rest. See Ryan, Ryan says. Yeah, 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 Ryan says no. Okay, let us see whether, 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 um, sorry, sorry, it's not true. According to the book, your answer is not correct. So, you're going to try again. In Shia, are you okay, Shira? You look as if you're looking blank. You know, you know what look is that? I mean, blank. It's like you baru train, someone just asked for your hand in marriage. And then you say, no, I don't want. And it's looking, but you're forced to, forced to. That's what happened to my mom, actually. Poor thing, my mom. Now, I told you all the story, right? My mom, one oh. day, she came back from school. Uh, you know, uh, was about to go to school. The grandmother says, today you don't go to school, today you get married. Aduh. She going to hide under the table. You know? And I'm one of the products of that marriage. Sad story, yeah? I do say a story. I can see Inshira laughing. Anika, is that Anika? I heard you want to become a ballet dancer, Anika, ballerina. But that's a true story, lah. That's a true story. Poor thing, huh? She was for she was, but she was nineteen years old actually. But she was uh, in a secondary two or three, three I think, because she entered school late. So. Yeah, but of course, some people I watch uh, some Piramli movies, they're happy to get married. Nah. All right, okay, come on, come on, let's see. Uh, Akila can do, nah, Akila. Are you able to do? Inshira can do. Okay, we do together then. If you cannot do, we'll do together. I'll give you another two more minutes, ah. two more minutes, okay? Two minutes more. Maybe the problem is not in Pythagoras, it's your. Oh, you're trying, okay. Shafi, I stand by my answer, Shafi says. Okay. Is there a decimal? There's no decimal. According to the book answer, there is no... Eh? There is a decimal. It's a decimal. It's twice of what Shafi says it is. Shafi says 17.7. According to the book, it's twice the amount. It's a decimal, but it's a 0.5. Inshira got the same thing, 17.5 so. They're asking you to find the length of AC, no? Okay, we, we, we check, we check, we check. We check in a moment, huh? Okay, one minute more, one minute more. But Inshira gets 17.5, Shafi gets 17.7. And the answer is like twice the size, no? Here, I'm going to explain in... Can I explain or you want need more time? I just run through, okay? If you feel you... you Okay, so you know... You check which part is your mistake. Lah, huh? They tell you that this side, this square... So you write this square. Plus... This one, we square it also. So what is it equal to? According to Pythagoras, it's equal to hypotenuse square. Lah. But hypotenuse square is like that, no? X, sorry, X plus 4. I'm worried some of you do this. Eh? So one of my students eh, the other day, eh, he asked me, I say, square this, what is this? He say, oh, very simple. It is X square plus 16. Hey, hello, it's not X square plus 16. Eh? This one means you forgot how to do algebra, expansion. This one, uh, Ryan, you check, Ryan. This one, you must do like that. No, no. X plus 4. Then X plus 4. This is the square. Lah. And then what must you do? X times X is X square. 
Then x times 4 is 4x. x times 4 is 4x. We get 8x. I'm, I'm going to sum up, uh, factorize straight. Eh? Simplify straight so that we have a neater that thing. I already expand. Eh? If you ask me, okay, x times 4 is 4x. 4 times x is 4x. So altogether 8x. 4 times 4 is 16. So when you square this, this one, you will get this. Did you get this not first? Yes, sir. Okay, then. So x square, we leave it as x square. 80, oh, 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 ya Allah. Aduh, sorry, eh. I do not want butter to press. Okay, now. What is this? Man? What have I done? Um, sorry. This is now... Okay, just forget about this. I do not know what has happened. Let me see. Huh? Let me go back to this one. Okay. How do I go? Ah, I'm okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. For a while, I, I lost my pen. Huh? Okay. So this is x square plus 18 times 18 is how much? Three four two. Oh dear. Astaghfirullahaladzim. I think my 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 computer is going to... Uh, okay. Okay, this is three four two here. Yeah, I'm going to write it on the board. You know why? Because I'm doing editing with my computer. It's starting to lag. Huh? I've already used 800 gig of the thing. So I'm going to write it on the board here yeah, so that you can see x square plus three two four huh? is equals to x square plus eight x plus sixteen so let us see now okay down here so now you bring the x square over it become minus x square it disappear so x square i bring over minus x square is zero so 24 is here, 3 to 4 is here. I bring the 16 over, minus 16 is equal to 8x. Okay, notice uh, if you're confused, I brought the x square over, it becomes minus x square. So x square minus x square is 0, lah, no more. Then 3 to 4 is here, I leave it here. I brought plus 16, I bring it over, it becomes minus 16. 8x, I leave it here. So 8x is equal to 3 to 4 minus 16 is equal to 3, what, 306, eh? 308. So x is equal to 308 divided by 8. Eh? What do you get? You get 38.5. But I'm actually very interested to find out why do you all get 17. 17 uh, cm. If you have a picture of your working, you send me Inshira and uh, uh, Shafi. Okay, if you have a working, you take a photo or you show me, I take a clip. Okay, can you show me? You know your mistake now, first Shafi. You know your mistake now, Inshira. You know your mistake. You don't look convinced, huh? you don't look convincing. I huh? don't mistake. Is that someone asked you? Okay, but I won't give you an example again. Okay. So you, you say you know your mistake. Ah, I assume you do, okay? Okay, come. You try now the next one. Ah, next one, I mean, we go to more difficult ones. Lah. Rhombus, this one. Okay, can you try and find the length of XY? And then the diagonal, diagonal is 15. So next one is find the length of YT. Okay, you can do this. Inshallah, you can do this.
Now remember to tell you this is a rectangle. Huh? So you know all sides of a rectangle, all angles are right angle. So this means what? And this is a right angle. Huh? This is a right angle. Okay. Let's see. Someone has sent me the answer. X, Y, Akila says is this. Let's see whether she's right. This person is not wrong. Congratulations, Akila. Congratulations, Shafi. Okay, you're supposed to find X, Y. So you use this triangle. Ah. In she can do in she. In she, okay. Sure, sure. Go, 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 please. Okay. You need to go. Oh, yeah, please. I think I did tell some of you the story, right? The primary four class I taught once before you guys were born. Ah. I told you, right? I told you, I told them the David story. Have I haven't told you the David story, right? That's if you're. And then he contained in the classroom. You know? I asked him, he was standing in, in the puddle of urine. And I asked him, why? Why he didn't go to the toilet? Because I went down that time, I bought them. I, this guy must be maybe 30 years old now. I bought them slurpy. I was a bad tutor. I had my own tuition center. I would go down. Before, below, there's a 7 Eleven. Some of them became addicted to slurpy. So I bought uh, how many students there are? Nine students. I buy nine slurpies up because they were, they were doing very well. And most of them, nine. I was teaching more than 90% Chinese students. And this guy was standing in his urine. I said, why didn't you go to the toilet? He says, I didn't ask permission. Please, uh, please, you don't need, uh, if you need, suddenly you need to go toilet, girl, whatever, please just run and go. Doesn't matter. Okay. If I see you going, also, there must be something, right? I won't be asking. And this is like private tuition, so you don't need to worry. All right, we try the next one. Then YT, then YT, then can you find YT? But that story I've told many, many, for the last 20 years, I've told many classes. Inshira, you know that story, right? The David story? No, I didn't tell you all that. Oh, I told the last year's class. Yeah, I didn't teach you last year. When I created it to make a movie, you know. But no more movies. For me. So you got answer nine for question A. What about question B? X, Z. Oh, died for thing. Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi wa rajiwa. Guess what we said? Someone died. Actually, yeah, I ran out battery. No problem, no problem. You can use your, your handphone. You can, uh, uh, you need help, then we will. You can get an alternative, a handphone. Can I? Eh? Okay. Then we will help you. Lah. We can help you. You can, you can ask me, no problem. So you can try out what's the next one. The area. So if you do not know how to do this, this is where algebra is an issue. So let us see. Shafi, you know how to find the next one, B? You know, right? Don't know. Okay, uh, Akila, you know how to do? B? You know. Inshira, you know? No, no. Okay, so um, so Akila, you don't need to listen to this one if you don't want to. Okay, oh, oh. So, now, what is the formula for the area of a triangle? Okay, we know that it's half times base times height. So, half times base. Base is what? This is X, y, X, Z, T, right? Which one is Salah? Lah. Sorry, yeah, Salah. X, Z, T. Oh, this one down here. You must know what is the base, what is the height now. Okay, first of all, we're going to test you now. Shabi, what is the base down here in this one? X, Z, T, right? Yeah. The base, what is it? What are you going to take as a base? Or anyone, Akila? Inshallah, what are you going to take as a base? This triangle, we look at this triangle. Eh? What is going to be the base? Anyone, anyone, anyone? It is some primary six work. Eh? See, last time you didn't teach me properly primary six. So you don't say that. Eh? So now let's see. Okay, someone has sent me an answer. 
xt yes this is the base so if this is the base let us rotate it lah to make it the base huh? okay akila say xt is the base so okay so let us now view it rotated view lah okay down here so you're correct this is the base so where is the height where is the height anyone anyone where's height? if this is the base where is the height Anyone, anyone? Is this a height? You agree, nah? This is height. You agree, ah? Huh? Inshallah, you agree. This uh, ZT is height. Let's see now. Someone send me something again. ZY, yes. ZY is a height. Now, why is ZY the height? Because the height must be perpendicular to the base. Must be. This one you cannot take. Uh, let's say my. And this is true. Uh, my, I'm now starting to limp. Why? Because my knee is problem, and that means I'm slightly one of my legs is slightly shorter than the other. See, because yeah, yeah. Now, if I'm walking, saying it like that, are you going to hold your ruler, saying it? You're going to hold your ruler, saying it to measure my height. Cannot, no. You must put your ruler straight to measure the height. Even though the person is saying it, you must hold straight. So down here now, this is your height, now. This is your height. So what's the formula then? Half times x t times z y okay so they want you to find what y t yeah. okay hold on, huh? hold on hold on let me see they give you the area right this now the area of this is 24 so you write it okay you know half times 12 the base, the height is 12 what? Times Z T. Okay, Z T we call we call it X lah. Okay, we call this side X, okay? Is equals to 24. Okay, is equals to 24. Why 24? They tell you down here this is 24, what down here? Can you see this is 24? So I know you might have having issues reading it upside down but i'm just showing you so that you are very clear so now what is half of you can reduce right six one so this is six x six x equals to 24 x is equals to four lah. 24 divided by six is four so this is four cm okay now we go back to original oh, going to uh, okay yeah uh, so now this is 4 cm they want you to find yt yt what is this can you find yt you have really find xy right minus the four uh, nine minus four is five uh. are we okay now uh? Just now, you all found this whole thing to be 9. Then we found 4 down here. So 9 minus 4 is 5. Lah. This one is 5. Alas, finish. Eh? Okay, I hope you're okay. We move on. Eh? We move on. Eh? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Applications. Lah. So you say, why do we need to learn this one? Imagine now you are you are a builder, you want to build this. Then you say, hey, how, how much uh, is needed uh, for this metal piece here? Say, I don't know. Lah. Let me, let me, why don't we try when we make, uh, then after we measure. Cannot, right? You got to measure to the, so you need to know exactly what is the, what is the measurements down here. So how do you do it? You use Pythagoras theorem. Lah. So you see, okay, Pythagoras theorem. There's a triangle down here. Okay, you got your one side, another side. You can calculate how much this is in very detailed way. So that's where you can use Pythagoras theorem. Okay, we move on. We move on in the bridge. Huh? Can we see whether we can do this? Hold on, hold on, huh? The 
height to be linked to it, five. Difference in height we know, right? Find the distance between the highest point. So they want you to find what? The distance between the highest point of the two buildings means they want you to find down here to here. No? From here. Oh, oh, sorry. From here to here. A straight line. They want you to find that. Rishi, you're sleepy, Rishi. You mean sleep? Okay, we got 22 minutes, 22 minutes. Inshallah. Maybe I'll share you something. Lah. If you need to have sharing. But you all are the most serious class. Lah. It's best. And the primary four class I have now, now they say they want it to be a, a storytelling tuition session. What to do? And Shafi, your sister is very good now. Is she improving, Shafi? She's a little bit more serious. Lah. That's good, that's good. So uh, I think the working that you gave her, it worked. Lah. Do. Okay, come, come. Let's try, let's try now. Let's try. You may need to draw on your own uh, on your own paper. Eh? If you don't have paper, that means you are approaching the tuition wrongly. Eh? If let's say you need to have paper and pen and need to write, otherwise you won't have, won't be helpful. Okay, this is quite easy actually. I'm gonna find it now. It only looks complex, right? it's not complex, okay? Okay, Ryan, your, your 55 is correct. So remember now, you have to square 460. You have to square 55. You have to square it. Remember? Then once you get the answer, you must square root it. Don't forget that. Okay, so now, let me see. Inshi, you know what to do, Inshira? No, you look very sleepy. Akila, you know what to do? Yes. Shafi, you know what to do? Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, in case any of you don't know what to do, there must be a triangle. Look, we have been talking about triangle, triangle. It cannot be that this one now is about non-triangles. Triangle, triangle lah, down here. So, down here now, can, can you see down here? This is a right angle triangle. Confirm right angle triangle down here. Then this one, they already give you the, the length down here, 460. This one over here, take highest 340 minus 285, what do you get? You get 55. So actually, uh, they are just giving you a triangle like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Salah. They are just giving you a triangle like, like this. Lah. This side is 55. This side is 460. And they are asking you to find out what is this. That's all. You get it, Anna? So right angle triangle lah, because it has to be lah, because this is to the ground and this is 90 degrees. Unless it's leaning tower of Pisa, then it's different. Yeah, saying it, right? But it was not built that way. I think the, the leaning tower of Pisa is, is, is moving. I think. Ryan, you have been there, right, Ryan? Paris? No. You have not been? Wow. 
I'm going to go England. England, wow. You went for a soccer match there? Eh? I watched uh, Manchester versus Aston Villa. Wow, wow, wow. Shock, eh? I've never been to England. Now you made me envious. Okay, let's try, let's try, let's try, let's try, let's try. Anybody, anybody? Let me start here. Um, Miss uh, Akila, you can ask me for cal I'll be your calculator, Akila. Whatever you want, you just message me. What is it you want? But just for today, lah. Okay. After you meet me outside, say, hey, can you calculate something for me? Just do that. Okay, come, come, come. Anyone, come. Mishira, come, 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 come. You see the tired really, she is it too late that lesson? You want it to be earlier? No, huh? okay. Huh? Do not know because some then like stone, right? Eh? Come guys, girls, can you get or not? This plus that lah. You get a very big number. I'm worried, I'm worried. Now you are, you are, you are too slow. That means, okay. Students pretending to understand. They don't, okay. So now the, the final, I think higher, the distance down here, 460, okay, square, plus, plus 55 square. Why? Because this is hypotenuse, right? So now you will get, like, we call it X, like X square. So when you add up, Ah, someone have given an answer. Let me see. Inshira. Inshira, but it's not accurate. So when you add a 460 square plus 55 square, you get a very big number. 214625. But this is square. Okay, this is square. I repeat that this is square. You want to find what is the square root. You want to find x1. So you square root it and I'll square root it. Uh, 612, sorry, 214, 625. You will get according to the calculator 463. So 463.3. Meters. Okay, four, five, six. Uh, I don't know whether we can get get a discount lah. But for mathematics, maybe point something. The difference is okay, but four, five, six something is wrong. So. Okay, we move on. We move on. Move on. Oh, you only a story yeah. Hey, I told you. I show you the the case of the woman who gave birth after forty years. Did I show you? No. I didn't show you. Okay, this is a true story in Morocco. Okay. Now, uh, again, we are doing this because from your body language, you are not responsive. That happens when people are either unconscious or they are really stoned. Okay, here we go. Uh. Down here, Moroccan. You can check. Uh. Not Murku, uh, Moroccan. Moro Morocco. Moroccan. Murku is different. It's a type of food. So, Moroccan lady with dead fetus. Fetus is the the baby in the womb lah you all should know okay but i can still hear some parents saying ah, you know last time when you're in my stomach if you're in a parent's stomach your mother's stomach you'll come out as tai, you know together with tai, okay? and can you imagine if let's say your parent your the mothers ah, give birth together with tai, the tai is all over you know how much of uh, bacteria there's they you get hand foot mouth on delivery straight okay so down here this lady did i show you this one I show you not. No. 
Okay, this one now here. Okay, this is a Moroccan lady. She's a Muslim lady. And she had carried a baby for 46 years. Now, don't think the baby is alive. Lah, because 46 years, is I'm 51. If 46 and 51 is not much difference. Lah. You come out, lah, the, the mother's womb lah, will be Koya Araba. Lah, okay? If it's, if it's inside. So what happened? What happened? Gave birth to a stone baby. See, in 1955, she got pregnant with the first child. And then was set, uh, scheduled for caesarean section. Caesarean section means you didn't need to cut the uh, part of the body to take out the baby. Why? Maybe the baby was too big. Okay, like my two sons, they were very big. Lah. So ex-wife got to be cut up. But she saw another woman die during childbirth. Now remember, this is 1955. Huh? So when she saw that, she fled from the hospital. She ran away. Then what about the baby inside? The baby is supposed to be give birth, right? But she has to give birth by cesarean section. So what happened? He says, kept feeling excruciating labor pains. I do not know whether you know what's labor pains. I, I've seen it happening. It comes like a meow, meow, the pain, huh? It's like, like you're gonna bear out like, again. I'm I'm my mom is watching me, she's wondering what do I know about childbirth. But I, I saw that now. So it come my painful painful for me. You gotta come out and then it become lugger. So it come meow something like that. So she's experiencing this sort of pain, but she suffered no miscarriage. And then the pain stopped after a few days. So what happened? She lived a normal life after that. Suddenly for this Six years later, the pain returned. Uh, and yeah, baby also stopped moving. The ultrasounds reveal something. Eh, it's actually her unborn child 46 years ago. So what happened? You see, the fetus had burst into the fallopian tube. This is dangerous. So what happened? The, by Allah's will, the, the body itself formed a calciferous shell. That means like a stone-like shell around around that baby, mummy finding the fetus. It's a miracle, man. Right? And then they remove it. It's like a stone baby. But this is not the baby. Yeah? This is the, the mummy. Uh, uh, the coffin uh, inside is the baby. How long is the baby? It weighs 7 LB pounds. 7 pounds, you know. Quite heavy, you know. Seven pounds. 42 cm. Very long, quite big. Inside her womb for 46 years. No joke, no joke. Why am I telling you this story? I don't know why. But it's just to wake you up because you are a little bit stoned. Lah. Now we go back to we go back to meds. Lah. Maybe actually I should prepare a question about baby that I can say. No? I told you the story so that you can learn and do the next question. Well, anyway, you try to do this on your own. Try to understand the question and see whether you can solve. But the point for me is Allah is all powerful. You can you can expect miracles to happen here. And I have experienced miracles in my life. Miracles of miracles. One of them is the Taib story I told you about, right? To me, it's a miracle. Of course, to you it's a disgusting story, it's not a miracle. It's a miracle. To me, lah. So, first of all, you need to identify the ladder. Okay. So, I will just color it for your sake. Okay. This here is the ladder. Ah, this is the ladder. Lah. So, the ladder is leaning. Later on, the ladder goes down. Okay. You want you to find the length of the ladder. That's all. Can you find the, the length of the ladder? First question. Then after they want to find a new height. Second question.
have a contestant with the answer. Let us. Alhamdulillah, a miracle happened, right? I told you miracles can happen. Akila. Wow, okay, we have um, two answers here. One answer. Okay, Inshira and Akila. Um, well, none your answers are correct. Okay, you have found the, the, the length of the ladder. So try to understand what they're saying next. And see whether you can find the height of ox. Ox teeter, this is called like a teeter, they call it teeter, ox teeter. And you can, eh, because you already know the length of the ladder, which is this dotted line is the length of the ladder. It just serrate, eh, serrate. It cannot be that it goes down serrate and then the length of the ladder becomes longer or shorter, it cannot be. Eh? It's the same length. Okay, it's the same length. Shafi, can do Shafi? Can Ryan? Okay, Ryan. Okay, then we, we just do together. Right? When we are looking at the ladder, the ladder is in yellow down here. Now you have down here. This is the length down here, and then you have, you have the other side. So we call this x, lah. Uh, Ryan, we call this x. Remember the formula is x square, the square of hypotenuse. Let me see, lah. Why I keep doing this? It's a uh, thing. Yeah, is equals to this side square four point okay it's equals to four point five square plus this one is six no yes yeah, six square so you get uh, let me calculate uh, four point five square plus six square you will get 56.25. So now in order to find x, you want to find x, you just square root this number. Okay, 56.25 square root. And you get 7.5. When you square root it, you get 7.5. So that means the ladder is 7, this one is 7.5. This red thing is also the ladder because it, it slides down the wall or this is the wall, it's like... Zzz. So this now they want you to find what is this and seven point five now same thing huh? this one same thing eh? they want you to find here only that's it so it's quite simple lah huh? you can find come anyone anyone hey hold on hold on they they want you to find sorry 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 they want not find this sorry they want you to find this one. This one, you know, it went down three meters. So down here must be three lah. I'm saying. Eh? They want you to find not that side. They want you to find down here. This one, it went down three meters. So this one must be three lah.
Shafiq and Shafiq. So I'll draw the triangle in case you all can't see that. Huh? You can redraw the triangle now. Down here is three. Three, this is, we don't know. 7.5. Seven is too too long, I think. It's not seven. You give a two decimal place, can or one decimal place? This one is three. So down here, 7.5. Not this one, this one is three, sorry. 7.5 square equals to 3 square plus, we call this y, la. y square. So bring this over that side now. You get y square equals to 7.5 minus 3.5, how much you get? You get 47, now once you, that thing, you get 47, Point two five. Find the square root of this. Y equals to six point eight seven cm. Yes, well done, Inshira. Okay. Are you all okay now? Can can do now? Akila can do now, Akila. Can yeah, I? But you didn't give the answer, Akila. Uh, but you understand, uh? You understand, uh? Okay. We have how many minutes more? One minute more. So one minute more. Do we want to do one question? You you want me to show you something? I'm looking at the thing. I show. I better show you something. Eh? Sure, sure. Is it yeah. true, Shira? Huh? Show something, eh? Uh, sure, sure, or, sure. Or make some. So sure, okay. This one is actually. I was watching the show Aliens. You know Aliens? No, Alien. Eh? Alien is different. Aliens is you know what it is, right? Those uh, creatures from wherever. And then in the first Alien show, you know Alien show, no? I think we're living in different generation. I better show you. Alien movie. You probably heard Alien vs Predators, but there was a first Alien. This one in 1979 was me, and then the 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 trailer said, because the person was screaming, and then the trailer says, "No one hears you in outer space." Now, in 1990s, uh, NASA made a discovery that the universe is quite noisy. In fact, this is now. Uh, an Ustad, uh, an Ustad from US, uh, his name is Omar Sulaiman. I do not know what. So in the in the hadith, the Prophet peace be upon him ever mentioned that the angels are there chanting and chanting and chanting. And but in this talk, there is actually the sound of of outer space. Oh, sorry, so you cannot hear. Let me just let you hear the sound in outer space. If you are curious to find out what is the sound in the outer space, hold on, huh? Where is it? Ah, this one, this one. Can you hear? Research was our universe is not silent because there can was hear? this can idea. You can hear now. Can I? Yes, yes. Idea yes. that if you went out to outer space, you wouldn't hear anything except for the moving objects. Just listen to what it sounds like in outer space. Obviously, okay. So you know. there is there is actually sound actually, and 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 the NASA the NASA um, scientists I say it says it sounds like ten thousand men chanting something. That's how they heard it. Uh. Yeah, maybe you want to have a look at the video and, and find out more lah. Okay, I will see you now again next week. All right, you take care of yourself. Assalamualaikum. Bye bye. Take care.